We got Troy Ave in the building, y'all. What's up? What's up? Street Super Radio, what up, y'all? Man, we just working, staying busy. That's a fact. God is great in the paper straight. Okay. God you know is great in the paper straight. That's all you can ask for. Oh, that's it, man. <laughs> well, once you got your health, you blessed. You can do the rest. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Most Straight definitely. up. Your health and your freedom. Mm. Bars. So, <laughs> I know you got a new project. Get ready to drop. Yeah, I just dropped Dope Boy Choi. That's out right now. Okay. You I got mean, another one. I'm yeah. seeing, I'm seeing some promotion. Less, less than two weeks. New pop. New pack that's gonna drop and it's gonna be super fire like I always say it's gonna be and it always mm-hmm. is and everyone just be more hotter than the other one you know what I'm saying and what prompted that is I took lemons and I made lemonade I, I wait I ain't I ain't I ain't run from the storm I danced in the rain you know what I'm saying so I said I, I want to see some new pack shit nigga I'm gonna show you what's up and it, and it's so ill that somebody had just randomly texted me to um a picture the album cover. It was like a fan sent me the album cover, you know what I'm saying? Cause like sometimes I have my number in the contacts by accident on the Instagram. Nigga just sent me the album cover, like man, these motherfuckers saying that you try to say you Tupac. I know you didn't say that shit, and, but but he said look at look at the um look at the similarities, like you know what I'm saying? And, and that shit took me back. I'm like oh shit, I ain't even realize all this. Like these is actual images that you could Google. These ain't no Photoshop shit. This ain't no made up shit. How these Niggas be frotting, trying to, yo, let's do an album cover or recreate this. This is my real life. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happened that we got similarities. And so I was going to just make a song with that cover. And then I said, nah, this shit, this shit ill. And since I'm working at a, at a, uh, amazing pace right now, because I got a new fan, a new fan, uh, love for just music and just life in general. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I'm going to go in the studio. I'm going to do what nobody else could do. I'm going to do the fucking album in four days. I'm about to go do. I'm about to go do the shit. I had to break out, and I had um some shit down south, North Carolina, Fayetteville, shit like that. So I didn't get to record, but I recorded the other day. Um, I think it was like Tuesday or Monday, and then then I'm about to go record tonight. I'm gonna get a hotel, and I'm gonna just lock in, just get like a suite. I bought my studio with me. The engineer gonna come in. I'm gonna lock in, and I'm gonna finish the rest of the songs tonight, and I'm gonna get it all mixed. I'm gonna put that shit out. Cause these niggas can't record music like me And they can't record quality music like me and Nigga, I'm on another level And I'm gonna show you my actions that I'm on another level I mean, that is a representation of what Tupac was all about When it comes to music Straight up Constantly putting out a body of work back to back So for you to do, you say you did this body of Yo, work in phones, four days Yo, your phones off, man Just working Just, For I did, four days? Yeah, no, I'm gonna do it in four days okay. I only recorded on I only recorded on Tuesday, mm-hmm. which is what's today Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I recorded. I recall. Nah, it's part of me. I recorded on Monday, mm-hmm. and then um, on Tuesday we had made some beats, which is yesterday. And now I'm about to go record tonight. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a little sweet in the city, and I'm gonna just lock in. And I bought the studio with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a. I'm a rock out. Like that's one thing I don't be taking for granted. It's like that music is getting me to new levels in, in life that, you know what I'm saying, I didn't get to from being in the street, you feel me? So, like, when I bought my new crib, my crib's stupid big, like, it's a blessing, OD, not trying to stunt or brag on nobody, but the first thing I did before I unpacked the bag, I set the studio up, because I know that's what got me there, you know nigga, what I'm saying? Nigga, first thing you should have did was pray, nigga. No, pray I pray, that house, no, 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 I pray all, I pray all the time. I, I ain't, shit, nigga, on, I, pray, I pray I pray before I get out the bed. My eyes open, I pray. Then I say my song before I leave the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So pray, that's always on top of the table. When we be out eating and it be a bunch of savages, hold on, y'all niggas ain't pray with your food, hold on. Everybody buy your hands. Word. Pray, I don't, whatever God you praying to, you're going to pray exactly. when you uh-huh. around me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the type of time I'm on. And I've been on that time. I ain't just get on it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, been on that time. And that's why I'm blessed. That's why I could be surviving all the shit that I survive. You know what I mean? Because I'm here for a reason. 8 to 8 Shade, 4 5, Street Sweeper Radio. So, look, I know we got a song over here. Yeah. While we waiting for Storm to come with song. the other joints. It's my favorite song. It's, it's a new joint. It's for anybody that ever felt like somebody switched sides on them, switched up, or been disloyal, or just wasn't 100 when you was 100 for them. This song is called Never Switch. Drop that, Shade 4-5. Kept the gang gang and I think... 8 at 8, Shade 4-5. Oh. Street Sleeper Radio, DJ K. Slate, Drama King of the Building. Jazzy Bell TV in the building. Ooh, ooh. What got up, world? Troy Ave in the building. Uh-huh. You understand? Got that new project. You got one out now. Yeah, Dope Boy Chug. I, want, I just want to lock in. got one about to drop. I want to lock in. Hey, I want to play goddamn... Shout out to my dog, DJ Sandman. I just want to lock in and play it off the auxiliary card. Just... 
super uh old school ghetto style like just plug it up you know what i mean brand new it don't matter mm. i'm gonna play new pop the shit that i did record and then um dope boy Troy, now, straight up i want to ask you a question mm-hmm. how you come up with the name new pop or the title um, where'd that come from it's because like random thought like or what yeah it was random it, it all that unfolded when i was doing the um the breakfast club interview shit and then um when I said uh the feeling, it, it feel like you know, like the second coming of Tupac, feel like the new pot, like a nigga out, and that's what people be saying, man, you the new pot, and I'm I'm like, man, I ain't the I ain't the new pot, nigga, I'm the Troy Ave, you know what I'm saying? I'm but, glad you said but, that. Yeah, but yeah. the feeling, the feeling could be the new pot. That's cool. It's just like niggas want to feel like they're rich party and they want, you know what I mean? Feel mm-hmm. like A Z. That mm-hmm. you could get that type of feeling when you out doing your thing and shit, and you know it just all it just all played out right then and there. And then so I said, all right, niggas, new pop, nigga, I'm gonna show you some some new pop shit. We got similarities and shit, and that's where the name came from. But let's not get it twisted. I'm Choi Ave. I'm dope boy Choi. If you can, I don't never want to be another man. If I'm another man, like I've been saying, mm-hmm. I won't have the dope type of moms I got. I won't have the dope little brother. I won't have the kids that I got. If I'm another man, I always wanted to be me, and I've been mm-hmm. me from day one. Break down the similarities for people that may not understand where you're coming from when you say that. I mean, I don't, I don't just want to just fly out the handle, but I mean, somebody sent me a picture of it, and what was the image? You know, it was um, the image is the album cover. You could go see it right now at Troy Ave on Instagram, T R O Y A V E. But it was basically, you know, Pac was going through shit in court. Right. I'm going through shit in court, serious right. shit. Um, they shot up the the the, the bands that he was in. I mean, and right. Killed him. God bless the dead. Nigga yeah, shot up the. Maserati as a BMW, yeah. pardon me. Cool. Shout out to Maserati. Um my, my red drop Maserati. Um mm-hmm. they both we both went to court, hit up in the wheelchair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's we, what sticks out for we me. We both was on the front page of newspapers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um it's something we both is like on camera with like some it's just like a bunch of shit like that. And yeah. and like, you know, at the time people want to praise Pac now, but at the time when he was living, running, doing what he was doing, he was misunderstood. He was hated a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And get a lot of hate. It wasn't on social media out then, but right. they got to take on the whole coast. You know what I'm saying? And it was just mad hate. It's just because you misunderstood. When you outspoken, like how I'm outspoken and he was outspoken, when you when you stand for everything so you fall for nothing, like how he was and how I am, mm-hmm. then you're going to come up with a lot of resistance. And that's just the devil work. You know what I'm saying? But I'm doing God work straight up. Okay. 88 Shade 45 Street Sweeper Radio. So, you know, Troy long winded and he got a lot of music. So, we gonna play some yeah. motherfucking songs. Yeah, what we yeah, got? Yeah, let's get some of these songs. I wanna Jack. play something new. Word up. How we playing it? We got the auxiliary code? What we doing? Talk to me. Man, we got the past slate. <laughs> we got. God damn, hold up. Hold up. Are play you trying to play something else? We got another song over here. Play, wow, okay. play something else. Wow, this Come video dropped. We'll this come video back right with now. The new pack. Shade 45. Right, it's, this fact, they can still hear me talking. Mm-hmm. This shit for everybody that got a comment about me. Just listen to the first boss. Everybody got a motherfucking comment, nigga. It go. Bitch ass niggas bring my name up a lot. I guess his cousin nigga really came up a lot. Why? That's my question. Why? Why don't we talk about me? Cause I'm that nigga. Dope boy Chuck. Hey, today shape Shade 45. Street Sweeper Radio. Okay, Slate Drama King of the Bill. Hold on, stop that for a second, Troy. Stop that for a second. Okay, we, we just reverse roles. We got Troy Ave on the ones and twos right now. You know, he's playing different cuts off his album, a new project, a mixtape, whatever. It. What is it? Is it an album, mixtape, or EP? Nah, it's a street album. You could get it for free or you could buy it. Everybody don't got $10 to buy an album. I, don't, I ain't even had no goddamn debit card on my iTunes. You know what I'm saying? So, however you got to get it, get it. I just care that they listen to it. That's all I care about. And how many tracks is on that joint? I don't know yet. I'm still recording it. So it might be like, you know, might be 12, might be 10. Where okay. you at so far with it? I think I did four tracks already. Dope. Now, I heard I heard it. What I heard so far is sounding good. Yeah, appreciate that. Production is on No point. gas. I can't play. you know how yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah like, I already know you like, sent sure, that nigga one. records back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't play Slate. I like, I like to put myself up high so motherfuckers can take shots and then I always prove them wrong. You know what I'm saying? I like for my fans to be like, yo, I'm telling you, chill, yeah, he, he, that's the boy right there. He about to drop. His shit gonna be fire and I like for people to doubt them and then come back and be, yo, I ain't gonna front you. Me and Troy Ave is fire. I okay. like that. That's what right. I That's what I need. So who produced them joints right there? Oh, so me and Trilogy. Me and Trilogy made both them joints and then... um. Who played? The, who, who produced Ruby the Rose. first joint? 
The first one, I don't the, know. I ain't mad at you. The, the flip, the flip of that. Oh, me and Trilogy. Yeah, nice. Trilogy music. That's a fact. Yeah, like, I, I, I need that. I, I, I need to leave with yeah, that. Yeah, why not? That's okay. gonna, that's gonna yeah. be sweet, man. Mm-hmm. I got, I got some more. I ain't playing no games with these niggas out here at all. Eight 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 shape four five street sweeper radio. So you got some more joints. We got DJ Troy Ave. Well, I don't know. Dope boy Chelly. You know I used to DJ when I was like thirteen, man. Straight up. Here but we I go. Can, it all makes I sense can, now, Kay. Here we go. I, I always <laughs> wanted to DJ, man. He <laughs> got it for your job. <laughs> nah, nah, that's my dog. That's my dog. Hold on, we gotta play like this real quick, cause just let people know what's going on. There's a lot of jealousy Ooh, in the streets. You feel it sometimes. Ooh, yeah, I feel it. Uh, 88 Shape 05 Street Sweeper Radio K Slate Drama King of the Building uh-huh. Jazzy Bell TV in the Building Yeah we here We got DJ Troy App On the ones and twos uh-huh. Okay DJ Dope Boy Troy In this bitch We over there Playing <laughs> some joints You know what I'm saying Word. Off his current project And the joint That's getting ready To come out Yup Dope Boy Troy Volume 1 And then Dope Boy Troy Volume 2 Titled New Pop I dropped Friday man Friday? Yeah, Friday. Immediately. I said I was going to drop it. I think I I think I said on Friday I'm dropping it the following week. And I ain't even start recording that bitch till Monday. And I'm going to go finish it up tonight. And I'm going to put it out to the people on Friday. Might be mid- midnight. You never know. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Hey, That's what's up. When you play no game, when you talk about, when you talk about real shit, it's not hard to put songs together. And you said you don't know how many tracks it's going to be yet. But it's definitely going to yeah. So you probably going to give them about 10. Yeah, I'm, I mean, maybe, maybe 10, maybe 12. Okay. Shit, maybe 8. We just want to, you know, keep mm-hmm. the show and sweet. Just don't give niggas four, man. No, no, <laughs> no. Nah, just don't, never. don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't do no bullshit like never. that. Just say, yo, this is a, e- a mini EP. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They can call it a mini EP or shit. That's when niggas ain't really had no songs. They just trying to throw shit out. You know what I'm saying? We got, I got records, man. So I'm a little different. So I'm gonna ask you a question that is taboo to a lot of people, but it might not be to you. If somebody wrote you a hit record, a hit record that you know this is some shit that could go Bruno Mars. Would you do it, or you wouldn't do it because you would never let anybody write for you? I mean, I let somebody do the write the hook and stuff, but as far as my lyrics, no, nah, because you know it's just with me. I make music that's about me, so I don't think that nobody ever gonna really could tell my story the way I could tell it. You but somebody I mean? right now, if they analyze you from yeah. back then and now, mm-hmm. like I remember the first time you came to my show, you know who y'all niggas was dissing. I ain't gonna say who it was. I don't yeah, even yeah, we, remember. yeah, I know yeah, you don't remember. So he got, he got amnesia. He got, he got amnesia. We had to step on so many. Oh, nigga, you, the, you remember because you, you was a victim of the circumstances that day. It wasn't your problem. Oh, man. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah that, that was, you was dragged into it. I, nigga did a job by my car. I said, nigga, I thought he was going to the store. Nigga robbed the bitches. Put his hand out the window. I was God damn, why are we gonna do it like that? That nigga was young as fuck. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know that he was being dragged in. That's what I'm saying. But from then to now. I knew I was being dragged in. Nah, you got dragged into that. That's why I'm not gonna say who it was. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But from then to now, shit, anybody that watched your career could pretty much put together a a song. So you telling me you know this shit is automatic diamond. Yeah. Nobody can never write for you. I mean, I probably went, like I said, they could write a hook. They can produce the beat and everything, but I got to tell my story the way I tell it. You know what I'm saying? And at this point in time, like, I'm blessed by the grace of God. I got everything I want out of rap, so it ain't just about money for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though this is a music business and you're in the business to make money, but mm-hmm. everything I said I wanted to buy from rap, got I it. bought that. Like, a nigga Ferrari shopping right now. You know what I'm saying? That's the ill part. Like, get the California or get the 488. And it's just like, you know, like this that's amazing to me to be able to be doing that type of shit. So just because it's gonna go diamond, I, I wouldn't do it. Like if you gotta sing a nigga words word for word, you feel you feel like a fro. You feel like some milli vanilli shit. So you'll get all the money, you'll go diamond. Good point. And you end up fucking wanna drain yourself in the tub or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't mm-hmm. gonna feel everything that come with that ain't gonna be good. And I, I know I could look myself in the mirror, you know what I'm saying, and be and be okay with myself, like man, damn, nigga, you really did shit. You ain't, you ain't sit down to aim. You know what I'm saying? You was 100 through and through. So, if a nigga wrote some shit for me, I wouldn't. I'd be like, man, I, you can't tell my story. How I could tell it unless you goddamn like, like if you block. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't mm-hmm. Avon blocks that shout out my dog. He ain't never write for me, but I'm saying like he right there in the mix. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He know what we've been through from the grind to the shine. So maybe if he wrote some shit, I'd be like, alright, but just. A random nigga, they not gonna tell it how I'm gonna tell it. Nigga, I could get 16 bars off of about Troy Ave. 16 bars right now? Off the top? But then it probably. Oh shit, you had your shit. You you had your chest up. I was like, whoa. 
We see, really switch your roles in this motherfucker today. Yeah, that's nigga, fact, I, nigga, I see you come for your mom's wanting to know where you at this time of night, Straight nigga, to you out doing your own thing. Straight nigga, up. I could I could give a good 16 to Troy. Yeah, he probably could. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you probably couldn't do it better than Troy. I could do it. Hey. No, hey. of course not. I, I could stand up here and I could play songs like I could hit all the jobs, street sweeper, street sweeper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, could do it. I ain't going to do it how you would do it. Yeah, because there's certain places that it got to fall at I know. to feel good. I know that. You know I'll be, be studying. No matter how much I think I might know it could go, I can't do it how a slave would do it. You know there what I'm saying? Go. I'm going to give you that. There you go. 80 Day Shape, 4 5, Street Sweeper <laughs> Radio. You got some more. Yeah, of course do it. I do. It's a Troy Ave. Yeah, take over, Troy DJ Ave, Troy Ave. Ave. Take over, you know. Pop some shit up on here, you heard? I think we're going to go with that um Donald Pump. Stop that for a second. Stop that. Stop that for a second. Eight today, Shade Four Five Street Sweeper Radio. K Slade, Drama King in the building. Jazzy Bell TV in the building. Woo-hoo! Troy Ave. Uh-huh. Want well, to thank you for coming through, sitting down with us, networking with us, politicking with us. Well, you ain't really sit down, nigga. You stood up and DJ. Nah, nah. He put in that work. Putting that work. Putting that work. Letting the though. people hear that music. I sat right down mad. for too long, man. I sat in jail for two months. I had a motherfucking wheelchair. I ain't trying to sit down. Mm. I'm trying to stand up. Flight mm. though. That's what's up, man. Respect that. So, um, you got any upcoming shows? Um, yeah, I go to, I go to, um, damn, where I go? I go to Hartford. I go to Maine. I go to, um, I go to Miami. I go to Orlando. Um, nigga, you on tour? Yeah, nah, nah I, ain't, I ain't set up the official tour yet. It just, you know, a bunch of move around bags. I go to D.C., um, uh, V.A. Virginia Beach. Just a bunch of little, you know, spot dates until we set up the. Official talk. God is great in the paper straight. Straight up. I ain't think I was going to be doing shows with Mad Long. Right, and right. They just, you know, I'm still, I'm still on the ankle bracelet, but, you know, I still get to go move and do shows and pick up bags and touch the people. That's the most important thing for now. Maybe you should do some DJing so you can stop fucking being on the mic getting in trouble, nigga. Word. Word up. Word. Should, I'm like, I'm going to DJ all my private parties. I'm, I'm going to have yeah. a little private party at the at the big house. I'm calling my new spot the big house. I'm going to have a pool party at that bitch. You no. know what I'm saying? No. Don't bring nobody no, no, to I your house, man. Nah, it ain't going to be. All, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do imports. Like all the, all the women that live out of town. We get them to a certain spot, and then we put the shuttle bus, and the shuttle bus bring them here, collect all the cell phones Did you there, just call them and imports? that's it. The imports, that's a fact. That's a fact. No local, I you can't. can't. Can't they do nothing import. local. They can't do nothing local. Gotta import yeah. some of these yeah. niggas too, boy. Listen, man. <laughs> well, we don't need no, no, no niggas. No, you got export. Export. Yeah, 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 export. export. Yeah, export. Obviously, that's exactly. not wrong. Export. Yeah, export the niggas, man. Because niggas do bring the trouble. Yeah, I don't do niggas. niggas. You already yeah. know. I know you don't. I don't do niggas. Too much. Man, listen, man, I'm on the same type of time, man. There be too much niggas around doing nothing, not contributing. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. helping the cause. All niggas bring to yeah. the table is a spoon. Can't do nothing with that. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> well, Straight we happy up. to see you out and about, Troy. Yeah, and, I'm you know, happy to be Getting seen. on the road and doing your thing. Yeah. You got and I'm wearing more Versace. I'm bragging more diamonds. Mm. I'm getting more money. Mm. Nigga, Boy, that nigga crazy. Nigga, mm. they can't stop me. Nigga, this is God's plan. They can't stop me. Mm. I don't give a fuck. It's all about perspective. Niggas want to talk down, but look up. What the fuck you expect a bitch to do? Howl at the moon. And by when I say bitch, I mean a dog, a bitch-ass nigga. They supposed to howl at the moon, nigga. They looking up. They looking up but talking down. You can't stop Troy Ave. I don't give a fuck who you are, nigga. They done threw everything at me. They done motherfucking try to block my message. I'm here uplifting the people. I'm motivation to the people, nigga. That's a fact, though. Shit I been through, niggas would have folded up and died. That's a fact, though. Nigga, I done survived it all. And I'm going to survive more. And I'm going to keep getting money. I came home and spent a million dollars. Stop, in Troy. I spent a million calm dollars. Down, nigga, nigga. Calm, calm down, my nigga. You got to calm him down. You got to calm him down. You got to calm down. Blocksdale, help me. It's Storm, hey, somebody. Help I got, me. I got the passion help me. in me, dog. I got the calm passion down, in me, Calm down, my nigga. Man. Mm. Straight up. Calm slay. down. Slay. Slay. I sat in jail innocent, man. What the fuck? Mm. That shit wasn't right. And you home now. That shit wasn't right. I'm home, but I ain't free. I fought for my life. Now I'm fighting for my freedom. Word, word. Hey, Lupac hey, dropping fire to do with y'all nigga. now. And I'm totally calm independent. Down. I don't bust nothing down with nobody. Fact though. Money clips and rubber bands, nigga. Dope boy Choi, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. I just shoot up the Maserati. <laughs> I mash that. I jump out of that. Now go get a Rari. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't stop me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> God is great in my paper straight. You can't stop me. No matter what. 
straight up. I'm just gonna let him let him get straight it out. Get they it can't out, stop nigga. me, nigga. This motivation to the people. You know what I'm curious to know though. Yeah, with, with the dude, pa- no, I'm just wondering, wondering did, did any of like people from the Tupac estate reach out or like? In, yeah, like, that's come, a fact. Stone uh, seen him. All of my DMs and shit. That's a fact. Oh yeah. We love what you're doing. Fuck whatever people talking about. Yo, we love it. You embody everything, and I'm not trying to embody. I'm just being myself. Niggas to tell you before anything, I've I've been doing, I've been talking my shit, Mm. you know what I'm saying? And I'm living righteous, and I'm living more righteous now. That's a fact. I'm doing the right thing, and I'm telling everybody to do the right thing. Now, if you do the wrong thing, and then you cross me, then you got to take whatever punishment come with that. But I ain't starting them, but Mm. we finishing everything. That's a fact. Allegedly, my nigga. Let's keep it positive. Allegedly. Yo, boy, Chuck. 88 Shape, Wolf Street 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 Sweeper Radio. K Slate, John King and Bill. We want to thank you for coming through. Thank y'all for having me. God I heard great, some good music. Great, great, great music. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some good music. Mm-hmm. And um, before you leave, because I know you hear a lot of bullshit. You're gonna play that joint. I know you hear a lot of bullshit, but you know you, Yo, look, you got your loyalty. They so love, no, loyalty no, 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 no. Hear me, hear me, hear me. The ninety nine percent of the game is bullshit. Of course. So that's why I got DJ Radio. <laughs> he plays the bullshit. I don't oh, play that shit. Man. But. Oh man! Okay. Well, then that's the one percent we talking about. And you know, I, when you I get on, you play the one percent. I break a lot of new new artists up here too, so don't don't listen to Slay. Listen, man, I listen to everything Slay talk about, man. <laughs> Slay told me a record I had wasn't a hit. They double back and it was. Hey, so you? you it, it, so it, I know, so not, I know not to listen to him. No, 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 no. 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 I'm about to get him. <laughs> Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. I was doing don't so well. No, no, stop, stop. So I gotta get him now. You ain't the, you ain't the only stop one. Stop a second. I'm out. Stop a second. It oh my God. I never it said. I never said it wasn't a hit. Mm-hmm. I said that wasn't the type of record that fit my mixtape. Oh, that's street. The story be changing. That's right. And it was and it was the song all about all about the money. It was that joint. That was K Slay record for the mixtape. But I went like this. Nah, Troy, because man, all about the money. How? Yeah, K. Slate, see the motherfucker, uh, nah, 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 the street, nah, 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 nah. you know, the not that. Listen, Slate. it was like that's not the Slate, one. Let me tell you, Slate. and I sent you a beat to go, and he called the beat whack, but he did it anyway, right? Because he got his <laughs> own little. So you got, but I got my it. own little vibe. And anything I do is street, so I could be singing on track street because I do real nigga shit. You know what's real nigga shit, Slate? I ain't, I ain't like, I ain't, from, I ain't like the coming record, from the sorry. mud, being successful like you did. That's real nigga shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas be having their mama living in the projects, nigga. I took my mom's out the hood. That's real nigga shit. Nigga, I put my people should. on. That's real nigga shit. So anything that come out my mouth, pause, or that I put on the record is real nigga shit. And then that mean it fit Street Sweeper Radio. But you know one thing mm-hmm. that... And that's the 1% <laughs> of the music. But you know one the thing... 1% you know one the thing, you know one thing that's plays. real nigga shit? What's that? What's that? that record was trouble. Mm. So I'm glad I ain't take that shit anyway. <laughs> it ain't shameful.